We're going to start with part C, which is asking for the pH at the equivalence point for this titration. All right. So first thing I'm going to do here is let me go to this here. I already started answering the question here. So let me just guide you through what I have here so far. So first thing we're going to say is that at the equivalence point, the moles of the acid will be equal to the moles of the hydroxide. All right. So and we know that to be equal to 0.100 moles because um, the volume is um, one liter and the um, molarity is 0.100 m. So therefore, we know that the moles will be 0.100 moles. All right. So going back to this right here. So basically, what I have here is I've written the balance equation here. And I've set up the ice table where the initial moles of HA and sodium hydroxide are written. Of course, initially, you'd have no moles of the NaA. And then because these two are equal, because this and this are equal, they'll be completely used up. So they're both the limiting reactants. And um, as a result, the change here for this will be minus 0 0.100. Same is true for the sodium hydroxide. But over here, the change is plus 0 0.100. So at the end of the reaction, you have no HA or sodium hydroxide left, and you only have this remaining. So the only species remaining in the aqueous solution would be the sodium acetate. So to find the concentration of sodium acetate, that would be equal to the concentration of the acetate because the sodium acetate undergoes complete dissociation. And that would be equal to the moles of sodium acetate divided by the volume, which would be 2.00 liters. And that's because the volume of both the sodium hydroxide and the base, I'm sorry, and the acid added at that point would be the same, which is one plus one gives you two. So according to my um, um, calculation here, this would be equal to, okay, so I did the wrong calculation, so let me do the correct one. So the answer would be 0 0.100 um, divided by two. So that's gonna give you 0 0.05, 0 0.0500 M. So that would be the concentration of the A minus. So how do we find the pH in this case? Well, what we have to do is look at what happens when the A minus reacts as a base with water. And we know that it reacts as a base to form um, HA and A minus. All right. So basically, um, we're going to start off with another ice table. We're here, we're going to have 0 0.0500. Here we're going to have zero. Here we're going to have, um, oh, this should be um, OH minus. So here we're going to have zero. And then the change here, because this is a weak base, we don't know, it's not going to complete this completely dissociate it. So we don't know how much of this would react. So we're just going to call this X um, amount reacting. So the change here will be minus X. The change here will be plus X. And here will be plus X. All right. So K, so at equilibrium, you're going to have 0 0.050 minus 0 minus x. Here we're going to have x. Here we're going to have x. Of course, we don't need to concern ourselves with water. And then over here, I'm going to write down the Kb expression for this. Kb is equal to the concentration of HA times the concentration of OH minus, all divided by um, the concentration of A minus. All right, and then we put in the terms and we're gonna end up with x squared divided by 0 0.0500 minus x. And then um, we have to find out what Kb is, all right? Um, now Kb, we don't know what the Kb of the acetate is, but we know that the Ka is um, 1.8 times 10 to the minus five. So therefore, let me just squeeze it here, Kb, would be equal to Kw divided by Ka. Kw is a constant, 1.00 times 10 to the minus 14. And Ka is equal to, as I said before, 1.80 times 10 to the minus 5. When this is worked out, you're going to get an answer of 5.56 times 10 to the minus 5. No, minus 10. All right? So this is what's going to go here, um, 5. 0.56 times 10 to the minus 10, all right? 
Now, all we have to do from here is some algebra um, to solve for x. But of course, because this is a weak base, we can assume that um, x is much less than 0 0.0500, which means that this bottom part here becomes, well, let me just write the whole thing, x squared over 0 0.0500 becomes equal to 5.56 times 10 to the minus 10. And we can therefore solve for x, that would be equal to the square root of 0 0.0500 times 5.56 times 10 to the minus 10. And we solve for x based on that. So x would be equal to 0 0.0500 times 5.56 times 10 to the minus 10. And, according, and then find the square root and according to my calculations, this works out to be equal to 5.27, 5.27 times 10 to the minus 6. And this um, would be, of course, the concentration of OH minus. However, we have to check to make sure that the assumption is valid. So we have to do the same percent dissociation um, determination. So percent dissociation, in this case, would be equal to x, which is 5.27 times 10 to the minus 6, divided by the initial concentration of the base, which is 0 0.0500 times 100%. And just looking at this, I can tell that this will be less than 5%, but let me just go through the motions. So 5.27 times 10 to the minus 6, divided by 0 0.05 times 100. And according to this, this would be equal to 0. Um, 0.105%, all right? So basically this would be less than 5%. So therefore the assumption is valid. So that means that we can go ahead and use the value of x. Oops, what is it? Use the value of x, which is equal to 5.27 times 10 to the minus six m, and that would be equal to the concentration of OH minus, right? But we're not finished yet because we're trying to find the pH. So the next step would be to find pOH. So pOH is equal to minus log of 5.27 times 10 to the minus 6. So let me do that. 5.27 times 10 to the minus 6. And um, according to my answer, this gives you minus 5.28 which means that the pH is equal to 14.00 minus 5.28. So according to my calculations, this works out to be equal to 8.72. And that's basically the pH of the solution at this point of the titration, at the equivalence point. Okay, so that's basically how you calculate the pH at the equivalence point for the titration of a weak acid versus a strong base. All right, so the next part, which is a pH um, of the solution when half the amount of um, base is added to reach equivalence point. Um, okay, so we'll discuss.